Yo, what's up guys, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be bringing back the series where I will be sharing my thoughts about Girls Planet Triple Nine. This time around episodes three and four. Last time around we talked about episodes one and two and obviously that particular video was long. I had to talk a lot about those particular episodes. I'm sure that this video won't be as long as that, that particular video, but we shall see. A lot to talk about. Let's just dive into it right away with episode three. Uh, prior to episode three, after watching episode two of the week beforehand, I had immediate worries, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of us, to all of us, did Fiesta Team uh, two right away with the leftover cells, and Bahi seemed concerned as well. The overall dynamic with some of these teams, such as how you like that uh, originally originally being performed by Blackpink with four members, but now performing as nine seems po like positioning of the choreo and the, of all the respective members. And also the line distribution seemed quite difficult to tackle for that particular song with the overall dynamic, which I'll be talking a lot more later on. Team Mic Drop, very ambitious uh, song. Uh, pick and all and i was concerned who's gonna come through with the rap because i'm pretty sure uh when i saw who was in that team i'm like is there a rapper in this team or not you know and then moving on the eve team the eve team a lot of aces in that team the quote unquote avengers team and every survival show where i see that kind of avenger likes team i always have concerns for that respective uh, team uh, team the eve also showed like a lot of individuals had leadership like qualities as well and it was quite concerning and all immediately on paper rayon now rayon was my final concern for the fifth season team two coming into the leadership position not only the leadership position after the fact of picking of course herself volunteering as the main vocal is just a tall task at the end of the day honestly a tall task for Ryan and Kimbora but especially for Ryan who I am quite familiar of um, not known as a main vocalist more so known as a vocalist and an all rounder skilled type of individual and also coming through in the leadership I gotta give props to her for taking both positions there and encouraging Encouraging the team to really fight through it and come through with an amazing performance. Now, right away, we dived into for, uh, teams yes or yes and how you like that. Let me talk about yes or yes teams. Uh, team one for yes or yes, we had Kim Hyerim, Ma Yuling, Okuma, Sumomo, who picked Jiwon, Chai, Moana, Chaehyun, Lee Yimin, and Ayana. Team two, though, Kim Sein, Ririka, Wenji picked Shu Yi, Ji Yin, Risako, Chao Yu King, Momoko, Li Che Yun, and Kim Do Wa. Now, immediately, I thought this was going to be a coin flip in terms of who would come through and win this face off. With team one and team two uh, coming through with all these uh, respective uh, members and all, but it turned out almost like that with team one slightly uh, coming through in terms of presence and i think skill wise and coming through with no mistakes as all while team two of course we had uh, some mistakes and kim saying being very very a uh, whole dramatic uh issue going or uh, revolving around her uh, rightfully uh so uh, regarding uh blaming others and uh, such and i think it was just not right of her to do that it's just at the same time it's a horrible uh, take and uh, look you gotta lift up yourself and really work uh for it and i saw like other contestants lacking but they didn't blame others they were going for it and continued and i really liked those other contestants who really did that so i do agree with yes or yes team one pulling through and taking the win 
for that particular face off. My main highlights from team one were Kim Hiram. Uh, such a delight seeing her smile. It was really infectious. I mean, pretty much all of them, but especially Kim Hiram. Kim Hiram, well deserved a uh, main vocal of the team of course and all and i liked how uh, she came through and with those amazing beautiful uh, notes i think also jiwon how she's kicked off the intro to the song with the nyan makeup and all uh, just provided so much presence and provided the exact uh, same vibes when i do listen to yes or yes by the respective uh, girl group called twice uh, i also think uh, moana did well cheyenne did well ayana pretty much all of them uh, there was no lacking parts at all and i think after watching this episode i immediately uh started voting for moana and ayana uh, for the J line and I think I'll continue to do so until the next mission and we'll see how they will continue to perform and really let up. Uh, team 2, my highlights, definitely Ririka and Kim Doa. Those uh, two members really shine, uh, Ririka and especially Kim Doa. Uh, she has an amazing uh, skill uh, set that she showcases really well in Yes or Yes, their particular performance. And I also think uh, Momo Ko did well, Wenji though. The improvement we love to see it her coming through and yes sir yes uh team uh too but yeah i really loved both teams and i think i need to go to my next point of the we love to see it moment uh right away kim chaehyun uh i would call her the glue the voice for the team and more specifically speaking the line distribution moment i think that was such an amazing moment where she spoke up for those and felt like she needed to speak up for the others and for herself in terms of distribution letting jiwon know uh, politely and kindly that at the back of the booklet tells you the duration of the lines if you take a certain amount of parts and add them up you know, that she'll be over like more than 50 seconds so i gotta give props to chan and i think that really glorious moment i should say uh solidifies as the number one pick personally for me on the show uh, i love uh, seeing every time when i see a survival show i just love that one individual uh member or contestant who comes through and becomes the voice of reasoning and such or becomes a team player or being a hilarious one at uh times and she's also so adorable in case y'all didn't know former sm rookie as well and i feel like she's gonna uh, continue to shine later on into the show uh now moving on to how you like that team one and two yeah, the overall dynamic of even though they were provided a guide video of how to perform how you like that with nine members instead of four seemed difficult uh, right away. So for team one, we had Lee Young Gyung, Vivian, and Cha Yan who picked Shen Xiaoting, Lee Young Un, Yurina, Cha Bing, Yujin, and Mei. Team two, Yun Jia, Kim Do, uh, Kim Dayun, uh, Chu Ling, Mocha. Uh, Jiao, Qin Yu, Sim Sugun, uh, Sakurai, Miu, Tami, and Rinka. Uh, right away, how you like that? Uh, team one more in favor based on paper and the respective members in that team. I think uh, it, it was right to pick how you like that. Team one slightly more, of course, both teams having uh, mistakes and such i feel like it was really due to the nerves i think it wasn't due to skill or practice at all which is gonna lead to my next point uh for cha bing for how you like that team one we saw cha bing work her butt off and the fact that she was told this quote unquote part Making a mistake means you didn't practice enough. We saw how much she practiced. So at the end of the day, this is not a copium statement I'm going to say right now, but more so she really worked her butt off and I felt like it was the nerves that happened uh, to take place that to cause these mistakes. It wasn't the lack of 
practice at all. Compared to the other teams that I saw uh, perform and making mistakes, I don't think it was practice at all. Uh, so yeah, I do agree with how you like that team one moving on uh, being the winner on the face off there. But I do have highlights for both teams. Um, Chayanne, oh my goodness, she set the stage on fire i'm gonna be keeping my eyes out on her because i don't think there's a lot of i would say c line members as much as j line members that i am like whoa you know what i'm saying so i think this was such an eye opener kind of episode to see uh c line uh, other c line members instead of like a couple uh that i see as like really uh, well um, known as aces uh based on episodes one and two so it was good to see that from her Lee Young Un, of course, did an amazing job. Yojin. I also think uh, Lee Young Young, the fact that she wanted to try for different parts and uh, good parts of the song was <laughs> was so cute of her. It's not like in like a huge like greedy kind of manner, but she she, re she really wanted to go for it at the end of the day. So I think it really worked how it's how she came through with the rap and as uh, such uh, of course there was some moments lack in expression and such but I think both teams due to nerves those issues happen but it was still good uh, team two really have to give it to Yunjia and Sugun. I think those two uh, respective members did really well. And Kim Dayeon, as always, she I think I feel like Kim Dayeon, she'll always come through with a great performance nonetheless. Now, moving on to episode 4 right away. Episode 4 I felt like was really really rushed um compared to episode uh 3, but what do you expect? This is the shows by um, Mnet uh, with editing and all. Uh, we had Fiesta, the fifth season teams, EBS with the Eve, mic drop, pretty you. Uh, right away, uh, speaking about Fiesta team one. Fiesta team one, Lee Sun Woo, Chen Xing Wei, Amashiro, uh, had Kubo Rina, Kang Yeso, Xing Chao, uh, Nagomi, Ye Young, and Wing Shi. And then facing off, of course, team two with Miyu, Yubin, Bahi, Sakamoto, So Jimin, Nian Chu, uh, Kiara, uh, Shuyan, Sharu, uh, and all. I think this was very, very, very uh, heavily uh, favored towards Team 1 based on paper and also my worries of Team 2 uh, coming through with remaining uh, leftover uh, cells. This was quite an interesting face off though i've got to admit uh with miu like straining her voice and uh, her voice not being up to 110 percent uh tip top shape was very questionable by the judges i'd have to say i felt like they could have switched up the main vocalist for that team even though it was hard to find a main vocalist in that team and i'm specifically talking they could they could have gave it to a k line member and such or leave it to miu but don't let her do as much as ad libs if i uh, recall correctly that she did ad libs or not or not you can correct me if i'm wrong and also don't continue to allow her to strain and practice that much just rest it and then see how it goes in the final performance and see if you can pull off the, the certain high notes and power notes in the song. I can't emphasize uh, this enough. Fiesta, uh, there's a lot of details, a lot of coordination that needs to happen in that song, but also you got to be a really well suited and fit for the vocal department for Fiesta as it's an incredibly difficult song. I've seen it by as a one themselves, dance practice and such, a lot of little uh, details in the choreo and all. But my highlights uh, coming from both teams, actually it has to be Kubo Rina with the vocals, uh, episode 
uh, uh, back on. Okay, uh, I said it already, but this is episode four. We're talking about just to reiterate that uh, Kang Ye So I feel like Kang Ye So is always gonna come through with such an amazing performance. Just the presence she holds and how she uh, performs and uh, also projects herself. Ye Young though, Ye Young uh, with the vocals and such. I feel like Ye Young, uh, despite her not being like on a high vocal uh, position, I think she really, really uh, shines. And then Fiesta Team 2, Bahi was the highlight for me. Now, I want to say this right away. I really don't like how Bahi is set up for huge expectations and then let down, you know what I'm saying? This started back on, like, ep was it episode 1 or 2? But nonetheless, on her initial performance, I think she uh, really did an amazing job throughout her performances and such and provides a great presence and aura to her performances and uh such so yeah i gotta highlight bahi there and yeah i gotta agree with fiesta team one moving on i do really hope that a good amount of team two such as miyu bahi uh sakamoto do continue to move on as they do deserve more uh chances also due to the remaining cell thing and uh, uh such and what they were uh given in terms of how everything was done of letting miyu continue with her voice that wasn't at 110 percent uh capacity and such but yeah those are my highlights for a uh, fiesta teams I think both teams, despite, uh, you know, the issues, I still think they came through. Uh, gotta highlight Chin Xing Wei. I think, like I said on my previous video covering episodes 1 and 2, I feel like she improved a lot and I'm going to continue to vote for her for C-Line and such. Now, moving on to the fifth season, Teams 1 and to team one, we had Kimbora, we had Hina, Manami, Lofe, uh, Li Hyewon, Hana, Rusian, uh, Lian Zhao, and Chang Jing against uh, team two, Rayon, Lang Chao, uh, ha uh, Hayashi, Fuko, Cho Heian, Wen Meiju, Oki Fuka, uh, Cheng Ching, Kano Miu, and Jung Min. I apologize. For butchering a good amount of these names but uh as some of y'all have been keeping up the show with the show with me you know who's in which team i just want to point out there right away uh i really think the fifth season matter of fact a, a good amount of oh my girl songs are very difficult to uh perform and such the fifth season uh, most particularly coming through with high notes alongside with the playful choreo you gotta have stable vocals and you gotta be in tip-top shape for the vocal department so i think this could have been close but unfortunately it wasn't as uh close i do agree with uh the choice of who is the winner for this one i think the highlights for team one has to be kim bora uh ling chow uh, those uh, respective two, but I saw a lot of improvement for Li Hyewon. I think Li Hyewon can't read this enough. Li Hyewon, Chen Xingwei are the ones that are underdogs that are going to come up eventually. Uh, and I'm seeing that right now, starting those two uh, contestants starting to sprout and show what they're uh, capable of. Against uh, a team two, I think Rayon was a huge highlight in that team. I gotta get, I gotta commend her for that. Uh, being in the leadership role, the main vocal and such, no, it's not an easy thing to do to hold both positions at the same time. I can understand her worries and such, not being a main vocalist at all and like uh taking on a leadership role in the past uh before and of course we had the twins against each other for these teams uh similarly how the narrative is and dialogue and script is shown for uh how you like that with uh both uh 
both of the 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 duo of course that came through with the kick it performance back on episode uh one i feel like at times they're gonna continue to do this and i don't think it's necessary to point out every time so hopefully they do move on uh, from that dialogue and kind of script but i i did like the kind of interaction there of them facing off each other i do agree of course of who uh, was the winner of this one unfortunately uh the harmony wasn't there uh, if i recall correctly with kimbora and lo fei but at the end of the day it was still good nonetheless with both teams uh, despite the slightest um, mistakes and such so yeah i agree with uh fifth season team one moving on but i do hope Rayon uh, is still in the mix and actually I do hope that Kim Bora is still in the mix as I currently know that they are on the brink of elimination right now which I'll be talking about later on uh, moving on EBS the main one of the main highlights to this particular episode of course a lot of worries a lot of worries for pretty much all of these teams not as much for uh, pretty you seeing how the lineup uh, is and I feel like at the end of the day, if you had the the right kind of, I would say members who can pull off the vibes of Pretty uh, You, you can just like come through with the win with Pretty You if you don't make mistakes at all and really show that presence and know how to express yourself in Pretty You. Of course, uh, coming through with the likes of Maya in that team. So right away, we had a uh, Pretty You mic drop into the eve if i recall correctly um i really love how this is the we love another we love to see moment mic drop improving from the interims uh the practice uh sessions that they were doing and all i think huge highlights uh respective members that uh, i think uh, came through with it in mic drop was definitely wang yale uh, choi hyeren and ang jong min ang jong min i've been eyeing her ever since uh that her first initial performance of course and seeing her come through in this one was huge for mic drop it wasn't like a 10 out of 10 necessarily but more so like an 8 out of 10 performance uh, for me in all consideration of not having a rapper but the the rapper the the members that took up the rap parts for this uh came through and uh, i do appreciate them uh coming through and not not making really any mistakes at all in my humblest opinion now moving on to pretty you pretty you i think definitely katoni was a highlight in this one and maya was a highlight in this one as well i gotta commend sunmi for uh, asking uh, leonji to give the killing part to maya as she really killed that killing part and uh at the end of the day it was a good sacrifice to come through with spoilers the win of course you're uh, you already know if you are watching this video and uh of course this video being way later on i finally found the time to do this video uh but moving on to the eve oh drama 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 ah mnet 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 the eve we know has a lot of aces not i wouldn't say necessarily every single one of them um likes of the kamakura rei and shuro we but majority of this team has a lot of aces and leadership uh, like qualities i think huge highlights for the eve i want to point out the positives before i talk about the whole drama stuff going on uh jung jian and uh, Nonaka Shana, without a doubt. My two favorite uh, members coming out through this performance. I think they killed it. Uh, Jung Jian uh, coming through with the vocals, Shana as well. I think I'll be adding Shana back in the mix of my votes here and there as being a rotator vote as I've been doing, rotating some votes here and there because I can't uh, pick all uh, contestants on this show, unfortunately, or a lot of them that uh, they provide an amount for you to vote on. But I think those are the two members that really uh, came through with it. And uh, Fu Yanning ended up being the leader in 
this group uh, of course there was a lot of drama surrounding uh fu yaning yu dayang and uh such uh suruchi i think every a lot of mnet kind of evil editing we love uh not we love but we like to call it is really made worse than it is and too linear base especially now in girls planet a uh, triple nine like what is it like based on episode two like what is this show me the money uh are you gonna come through with a linear or drama thing or issue with every single team in mission one right away like come on i just so sick and tired of that kind of thing going on which i'll talk about later on with the approach of how mnet's doing these particular episodes and then moving on forward and seeing how things uh play out uh of course Yu Dayan picked this team. I do agree. She let this on herself. She was expecting, oh, uh, we're going to uh, have an ace of a team. And for me, myself, I going to have significant, a good amount of highlights and parts in the song. Of course, it didn't turn out that way with all these aces in the team. I feel like she was definitely rash with it she did give herself a really bad look for a good amount of people very rash with it uh, and harsh with it in terms of what she uh wanted and uh such of course she it is fair to really do that and come through and pick up a, a main highlight part to really show your skill set and shine on the show uh but it was such a really bad uh, look for what i will talk about later on as uh well in terms of looks and such for certain contestants on the show however i do don't i do i don't think it was a whole bad thing of the i wouldn't say necessary i don't know the word to put it right now not like necessarily being um snitch and such but her later on coming through and saying oh can i try out for this part in front of the masters and then um the other members saying and such if i recall correctly that she didn't approach them to talk about line distribution in the first place i mean she pulled it up uh beforehand and uh such so i do gotta give it to her for that uh voicing out that i but i do think the approach was totally off in how she did it she could approach it a better way and but at the end of the day i really don't think like fu yanning uh this time around uh of course and uh would say you dion deserves all this hate surrounding them i find i find this really weird about girls planet triple nine compared to like the purdue series there's a lot of hate going on huh a lot of drama going on what is this like i said is this show me the money this is not like a weird show me money like rap competition show this that this that and um there's like basically on show me money there's only like a couple or just one uh uh, spoiler alert uh pretty much uh being very problematic and such i think the leadership wasn't there from fu yanning i think that part with the line distribution was not it at all and i absolutely hate it it's like schoolwork. uh sure you have a bunch of aces in your group but agreeing to for something that oh we're perfectly fine we're gonna do well just throw things out of the window like that was not it at all that was i was like no 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 y'all are not ready and like shana said we did not practice enough and it was clear that they didn't practice enough to come through with a beyond kind of performance they showed their 100 percent, but i don't think they showed their 110 percent for that you know what i'm saying which I can understand why Pretty You was the winner, the decider uh, for this uh, uh, triple face off at the end of the day as Pretty You went further and beyond. Uh, with that being said though, I don't think the expectations made sense at all for the, the Eve, uh, expecting them to show improvement, then giving them the win or something like that after 
seeing them perform amazingly in episodes one and two was not it oh we we expect you to do this this well and go beyond our expectations every time after solely on year one performance it's not it i don't like these preconceived expectations that are coming from the masters i'm not sure about you guys but for me i think they based it off of that but if they were to base it off a of performance i think they would have or should have gave it to the eve so it was a i would say it could have been the eve or pretty you at the end of the day and i'm not complaining that it is not uh the eve uh and it ended up being pretty you so i think uh the ebs teams they did well not a huge huge mistakes i still don't understand the expression type of talk that was heavily uh uh provided and mentioned by sun me herself which i will talk about uh soon here about approach moving on to my topic the approach that mnet's doing right now for this show the editing the editing is was never there obviously uh for these survival shows and what mnet likes to do but this time around it's way off it is way off this is like a mixture I, i'm not saying show me money show me the money is bad as i for one am a huge show me the money uh a fan and w love watching that show but it seems like it's a combination of that and then like a train wreck of idol school idol school as much as i love from its nine horrible horrible survival show and you heard the rumors uh, but not rumors but the news of the conditions that were provided for the contestants on idol school and the rigging and uh, such so i don't like the the evil editing in this case of sure it is evil editing that's bad and makes things worse than it seems like such has Cheyenne's uh uh hitting the wrong uh, key in the kda performance and such or the voice crack if i recall correctly but this kind of linear evil editing of drama i'm getting sick and tired of it already we're, we're seeing a couple of things here and there for these teams just stop that editing at the end of the day and you're per you're actually doing worse than it is than you think you are mnet you are bringing unnecessary hate upon certain members and you're also not just evil editing you're pushing members that you want i i feel like we all know this they're trying to push like uh, a redemption arc for certain members uh, like we saw like kim dion um and making things worse than it is i feel like she's just voicing her opinion and and thoughts of her trying to climb up to be number one uh coming from kaline and trying to be back within the top nine and such so really don't like the editing and the approach in terms of editing for these particular episodes and it's making me really uh, not like uh this uh show uh even though i really loved the performances which i pretty much only love the performances pacing that leads in my next part the pacing as other seasons the pacing is horrible it, things get rushed into the next episode right so we are going at a nice pace and it gets rushed but the pacing for girls planet triple nine is slightly different especially with the fan cams in the mix in case some of y'all may know before episode four came out the, all of the fan cams came out sure for yes or yes i like that but also fiesta the fifth season and ebs the fan cams of course sure they spoiled like the produced series that showed fan cams prior to the next episode however this time around is it just me or i feel like the fan cams skewed up my uh feelings in episode four and also my votes um to really wrap things up and try to uh save uh, people like the day before uh, but not necessarily on the day of episode four because that was my votes for episode four were emergency votes which i will be talking about later on pacing not it now it leads to my next approach my final of talk about approach the mentoring i feel like it's not quite there there's some moments i understand the mentions of expression and presence such as xin xiao ting for how you like that and other contestants for respective songs
But sometimes I don't understand the, the talks about expression and ex basically expression. Uh, oh, you're doing it too much, uh, especially for um, the Eve. I don't think they were doing it too much. Uh, the likes of Zaki Hikaru, uh, Yudayan, I think they were doing it just right. And Suruchi, I feel like they were doing it properly. Um, and oh, I think they were doing it uh, properly and weren't overly doing it. I, uh, they, they just did an amazing job in, in terms of how they expressed themselves for their performance. So I don't understand the mentoring at times. And I'm as more and more I'm watching more of the mentors talking about these uh, contestants in front of their faces, it really makes me miss the Produce uh, series uh, leaders and uh, such the mentors. They were actually, despite uh, the, there is actual critique, I should say, that is going on back on the producers in case I'll, some of y'all may know. Sure, they were really strict like the masters on Girls Planet Triple Nine, but they actually provided critique and reasoning and that's keyword reasoning i wish they at times just didn't bl blurt out this blurt out this at least provide reasoning and be the support that they need prepare them for that debut that they may lead up to and whether it's the top nine or in a different group prepare them and actually help them out maybe not like hand in hand but give them pointers give them uh uh, uh tips and such and uh, uh, i also feel like with the mentoring like i mentioned earlier the preconceived expectations just throw it out the window please i really love sun me and tiffany but I feel like these preconceived expectations are just not it. How you treat team the Eve compared to the other teams where there were obvious mistakes versus sure your minor expression mistakes that I totally don't see at all. I don't think it's, it's right at all to have these preconceived expectations. So I'm hopefully see, hopefully we see that letting go when the cells get mixed up and uh, such with all these uh, teams going on into the next mission that I'll be really curious about. So overall, I would have to say I can't express this enough right now, but I feel like Overall, improvement isn't everything. Like I mentioned earlier about Chabing and about that quote unquote uh, saying of how the, the mis you make a mistake means you didn't practice enough. I don't think in the improvement is everything. I think it was solely on these single performances um, and all. And I feel like, like I said, the mentors need to provide more help. They just need to be there. Your mentors, you got to be there for them to really prepare them, not to really just say, hey, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. Why are they doing this wrong? How? Help them out. Provide them the key so they could really open the door and really see what they're really capable of and what they can truly do. So, yeah, that's my overall thoughts about uh, these particular episodes for episodes three and uh, four. A lot, a good amount of we love to see it moments like Kim Chaeyun being the voice and reasoning for the team. Yes or yes, team one. I do like how I, some of my immediate worries were resolved, uh, such as the Eve mic drop and early on where they came through with something uh, better based on the stupid previews at the end of uh, the episodes of these Mnet uh, shows. The previews never end up going that way, especially I was relieved by seeing the fan cams of the Eve and mic drop, seeing them still being able to perform well, even though the preview tells another story and such. But yeah, I'll show my picks, my uh, as of recently votes and my switch and swaps somewhere on here as I wrap things up. But that's how I feel. Uh, there are language barriers going on. Keep that in mind, please. I feel like some people are not keeping in mind. And I feel like keep in mind of what you should say on the internet and what you should really voice about. I feel like there's way too much more um, drama talk and like talk and hate on the show then pointing about the positives like how i'm trying to mention the certain highlights 
from the all of these teams i mean there's always uh, there was all highlights amongst all the teams despite one of the teams not coming through and winning the face off at the end of the day but uh, my final vote somewhere here on the screen i really do hope that uh kimbora uh, despite coming through with it she is she might be on the brink of elimination rayon might be on the brink of elimination uh sugan might be on the brink of elimination yunjia as well you have in all these amazing amazing individuals there on the brink of elimination and i and you dayan i really hope those uh some of the mentions that i just talked about and also a good amount of c line and j line um, members who didn't make it through for the face off come through none the less but y'all let me know your thoughts about these particular episodes and be sure to like share maybe subscribe as i say throughout my videos have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are this has been garrison there garrison i'll see you in the next uh episode uh episode or i should say video for episodes five or six or even up to seven we shall see how those episodes go together i'm really praying that a lot of my favorites and talented individuals still make it through and such hopefully there is less drama linear uh, drama and more positive shows such as kim Taeyeon being the voice and reasoning on our team but take care everyone and peace